Hey everybody, Maddie Nelson here at Seekins Precision with another quick how-to video. Today we're going to talk real quick about how to disassemble and reassemble the bolt on our Havoc rifles, whether it's the HIT, the Element, or the PH2, the bolt disassembly will be the same for all of them. So this is a real quick down and dirty, how to take it apart, clean it for uh, field expedient uh, cleaning and, and getting it back together so it's ready to go. Whether you're out there and you have a big sandstorm or dust or grit or it's windy, it's wet, whatever, you need to take that bolt apart and clean it up. This is how to do it real quick. We're also going to cover a couple different ways to get your bolt back into the correct position should it happen to slip into the fired position and not want to lock back up. So we'll go over those things real quick. All right, first thing, we have our Havoc element here. Uh, before we touch any rifle, we always want to make sure that it's clear and safe. So I'm going to three-point check, chamber magazine, well, bolt face. This rifle is clear. We're going to go ahead and take the bolt out. It's that easy. Now, on the bolt, to take it apart, it's very simple. We're going to rotate it away. We're going to rotate the firing pin in the shroud away from the fired position. So we're going to turn that away, and then the whole shroud and firing pin assembly is going to come right out. We're going to push the pin that holds the bolt face right out. It comes out super simple. And there are all your parts. la di da -di, everybody. It is that simple to take the bolt, carry, or the, the bolt apart. Then you can wipe it down, clean it, re-lubricate it, whatever you need to do. To get it back together, the bolt only goes in one way. So we're going to put that in. We're going to place the pin in with a hole situated so the firing pin can pass through it. Then we're going to go ahead and put the firing pin and shroud back into place. And then again, it all only goes together one way. Now, once I get it set, I'm going to push down on the shroud and then spin it back into the cocked position. And now it's ready to go. I can put it back in my gun and I can cycle it in and out. No problem. It's ready to go. So that's how we take the bolt apart and put it back together. Let's talk real quick about how to get it out of the fired position should it fall in. So the fired position is if it rotates, the firing pin is going to drop into the deep portion of the bolt body here. And then you can see the firing pin coming out of the front. So to fix that, there's a couple of real quick solutions we can do. One is you can, if you got big Mongo hands like me, you can pull back on that firing pin and you can twist and you're going to get it to rotate back into the cocked position. Okay, so if you don't have big Mongo hands, let me grab this real quick. You can use a keychain, which is super simple. So let me rotate it back into the fired position. So firing pins poking out, firing pins down in the deep portion. We're going to go ahead, take this keychain. We're going to hook it on the back of the firing pin. We're going to pull back and you'll watch that firing pin move back. And then you can rotate it over and back. You have to kind of hold it in place with your thumb. But now I've rotated it over and I put it back into the cock position. I can put it back in my gun and it's ready to go. The last one's going to be with your boot, guys, and you're going to do it the same way that we just did with the keychain. So over in the fired position, you're going to hook the end of the firing pin onto your boot lace, hold it in place with your thumb, pull up, and then rotate it around until it's into the cocked position. If it is in the fired position, guys, you're going to go to close your bolt. You're going to go to put it back all together and it's just not, it's either not going to want to go in or it's going to go in and you're going to get hung up about an inch shy of it locking up. You're not going to be able to push it forward. Don't try and smash it in there and get it to go because it's not. Okay. Pull it out, check and make sure that it's in the fired position, which means it won't go in. The pin will be down or the firing pin will be down in the, in the bottom position and the firing pin itself will be poking through the front of the bolt face. Once you get it back in, you go ahead and snap it in there and now it runs nice and easy, guys. That's a simple fix. If you're out in the field and you run into that issue, guys, now you got it all taken care of. Hope this helps you out. Get after it.